I'm standing by the river in Bangkok, Friday evening, just gone 5.30. Sun's just going down. It's the perfect time to go down to the river, let the world wander by on a Friday evening or not. Because if I spin you round, the Bangkok Hot Rod Show is back. We've been waiting for this show. Two years they've missed because of COVID. 2019 was the last time it was held. This show is mega. This show is a really, really top-notch show. The custom scene comes together. The custom scene from around Asia comes to this show. They bring judges from around the world to this show. This year, it's back. There's less so with the Asia scene because people are not traveling quite as much just yet, but it's getting back to normal and it's fantastic to see this show. The judging here is top notch. The exhibits, the people who are looking for prizes, it's gotta be sky high standards if you wanna win at this show. So I'm gonna walk you around, take you for a look at the crazy stuff that comes to this show. Really see that the Thai custom scene is alive and well kicking setting new benchmarks every year and already as i walked through just to check it out there is some fantastic stuff on show i'm gonna whiz you around see what's going on the first haul i've walked in immediately i know these two cars they're consum's collection well two of his collection he's the organizer of cars and coffee he is into really crazy builds no surprise i walk in and i see these two cars now, what I really like walking in here, if you spin down, you'll see it's flooded. Now, I don't actually know whether they flooded this on purpose or whether it's actually flooding because we're right next to the river, but in the dry season, shouldn't really be flooding. Anyway, suddenly I wish I brought my camera because just look at the reflections of these epic cars in the water. And my feet are wet already and I've been here two minutes. I've just walked in and who have I found? Well, it's been a few years since I've seen you, you know. I think, um, since the COVID, eh? in the yeah. beginning. Since I last saw you, yeah. you got married, yeah. you had COVID. Yeah. I see your life on social media. Twice, twice of COVID and th a baby. I'm yeah. glad you didn't say twice married. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, congratulations on getting married. Good to see you. Yeah. How's the track going? How's life? Are you back to normal? Everything, everything's back to normal now. And even today, you know, last year also we had a big flood. Yeah. So this, uh, I saw the floods again. This yeah. Week and, um, this week, uh, this year, we cannot make it that happen again. So we have. I'm Kaitot Wong Suan or Ten. I'm from Thailand City Mall Sport Complex from Nakhon Chai Si. These two builds from Som, the Camaro here and the Corvair, the Camaro obviously engines radically different but the interesting thing in the land of swaps the Corvair still has its original engine in its original position in the boot we've got some really big stuff here two f-150s sandwiched by a tundra now these are big enough as it is and these are private imports because they don't sell these cars here but these cars have been pumped up by a company in chambury icon just check this Isuzu out. Cannabis leaves everywhere. Guy smoking a joint on it. The wheels look fantastic. It's as low as you possibly can get. This is custom crazy far out. This is what this show is all about. I'm going to spin you around because, man, he's got a guy with a deck raised. Now, these, you see a few of these around. They can make the deck dance. They can make it spin around. Not very good for carrying loads, but for attracting eyeballs on a Friday night at events, they're bang on. I love this KE70 here, wide body. It transforms it from those real slab-sided square right angles into something really, really menacing looking. DTM KE70, but this has got a hybrid on it. Hybrid on the side, hybrid on the front. It's been done by a hybrid shop. I wanna have a look under the bonnet, hopefully. Not sure it's gonna, the owner's gonna be around, but this looks very interesting. I've never seen a hybrid KE70 before, but everything's going hybrid now. Everything's being retrofitted, so time to start. Uh, hi, my name is Kerry Brobeck with Choppers Magazine, and we're here at the Bangkok Hot Rod Custom Show. 
2022. Uh, I am currently judging the car section of it. Got the bikes all judged uh, for my classes and now I'm just checking out all these crazy um, hot rods and low riders and Broncos. I love this Mercedes high rider, pumped up, SUV style, crossover style. Looks fantastic. And the funny thing is, I saw another classic Mercedes, exactly the same treatment, raised right up. In a hotel car park I've stayed in a couple of weeks ago near Pattaya. Clearly there's a trend happening and I like this trend. This Mercury Cougar is fantastic. It's done by Pond Retro. Now these guys just do one mental build after another. It's in their DNA. That's what they do. This one is fantastic. I love this ultra wide effect and the way they put the arches sticking on. Some of these cars are pretty familiar on the show circuit. This Torino, I saw it a few weeks ago at the classic revival hill climb. It didn't go on the hill climb. Well, this year the hill climb was more like a Gymkhana course around a car track. It wouldn't have fitted, it wouldn't have been very quick, but it was in the car park, I'd never seen that before. Now spin you around, this president I also saw recently, I think it was at the Nissan day, it looks great. It just transforms it really, lowering it, changing the wheels, changing the arches. They've really transformed the precedent into something very, very cool. This Volvo here is completely nuts. And this Beetle Barquetta I've never seen before. I believe this is a new build. I'm going to spin you around. There's a Team Tinky EG, that very, very familiar car. And there's another pretty wild EG build there. So this custom car section, the judging is going to be tough, it's going to be ferocious and very, very close because I've walked down here and everything has got an ultra high standard today. This build has been done by Stance Mania Garage, new garage, well newish. They're bringing it the stance, the air suspension, high quality, real artwork, real depth of understanding into Bangkok, adding a new dimension. Of all the car groups in Thailand, and there's a lot, and they all have passion, the 2002 has one of the most passionate, one of the most loyal followings. The group of owners, they are glued together. They're out every weekend with their cars, going places, they join all the events together. They have a real bond and a passion for the 2002. Now they have this to join the roster of cars they have. This build is amazing. I love the color. I love the wheels, the suspension, the stance on the back, the lights underneath. Not what you expect of a 2002. It's beautiful. The quality, you will rarely see this on a 2002. It looks fantastic. The judges are going to walk past this. They're going to spend a lot of time deliberating on this car because it is that well done. My name's Peter Allen. I uh, was pre-COVID. I was running a company called Gearheads Travel, taking um, enthusiasts to motorcycle and custom car shows, mainly in Asia, uh, Japan, Indonesia, Malaysia, uh, Bangkok and Thailand, of course. Um, I've been, right, I write articles for, I used to write articles for magazines, um, and I shoot a lot of video myself. Uh, I've got uh, 70 odd videos up on uh, BitChute. This car really doesn't need any introduction or really shown again. This car is everywhere. Every show you go to, every event, this is there. I've had it on loads of my videos. It's been around the media. It's built by Infinite Motorsport. It's an old and new body kit from Japan. Creates the image of the 935. Does a fantastic job of that. And they've added a real retro inspired wrap to really set it off, bring it all together. It looks fantastic. Although you may have seen it many, many times in the last year, it's worth looking at again. These crazy things here from Dr. Garage, no surprise to find them at this show, because he does a pretty mental build. This really short Mini, the shortest one you're gonna find, that's kind of the run of the mill thing for us. He cuts them down, puts high roofs on them, does all sorts of custom stuff that no one else is doing. I've just bumped into one of the most famous photographers in Thailand. This guy, a motorsport, cut him open, it runs through him. I don't want to talk about bikes too much, 
because it's not a subject I know about. So I'm just kind of throwing the bikes on for you to have a look at. But this Harley here, the detail, the work, and the individuality on this is just off the scale. I've never seen anything like this. It looks just totally, utterly unique. Spin you round, we've got another one like that. It's epic. Gonna look down here, this is the garage that's done it. This is the guy from Home Tie Garage. Epic work, look out for these guys because the detail, the craftsmanship is unbelievable. Here's another photographer, Pele Spec Magazine. This guy shoots non-stop. Every event, every day shooting non-stop. Hard working guy, good to see you. It's not just about custom bikes, individual garages. The OEMs, the people who build the production bikes and sell them are involved in this show as well. I'll spin you round and you'll see Royal Enfield here. And then we've got Cub and we've got Rebel on the end. So they're all getting involved in the show. And what they're doing is they're not just bringing their standard production bikes, they're bringing custom bikes as well dropping their production bikes in with the custom bikes. Whole big melting pot. Everything coming together in a really cool custom atmosphere. I love this. It's completely nuts, completely outrageous. And it fits in here, although it stands right out. Before I came to Thailand, I'd barely heard of it. When I came to Thailand, which is really influenced by Japan in the car world. Over 90% of new cars in Thailand are from Japanese brand. So the scene looks to Japan. There's quite a few of these Japanese style cars and bikes here at the show. So I'll drop a few on the video as I go around. ยินดีที่คุณเอสมาร่วมงานของเราเป็นปีที่สี่แล้ววันนี้เป็นวันของเกสต่างชาติที่จะมาเดินในงานแล้วก็เป็นพรีปาร์ตี้ให้ทุก
with these two cars because you will recognize them. Le Mans Replica MG built in Thailand and this Lotus 7, they belong to Konuk Konplum, the two organizers of Classic Revival. That is coming up next month. That is the daddy of classic hard events in ASEAN now. So if you haven't been, you're in Thailand, get there. I recommend that as one event of the year to get to. So it's bye bye, I'm off, I'm out of here. Bangkok Hot Rod Show, it's good to have you back.